All right, this is Lori. And Lori, what is your trail name? Just Try. Just Try. Yes. Is there a story behind that? There is a story behind it. My granddaughter gave it to me. All through their life, I always told them that they could do anything they wanted to do. They just had to try, just try. And she goes, well, it needs to be just try. So that's how I get it. This is Debbie, otherwise known as? Omi. Omi, and just to preface this, Omi and Just Try literally came off the trail today and they are tired and they aren't hungry anymore. No. We did have a great Not meal. Not hungry. Miles, are you in right now? We're in the 300s, like 330, 344, is it? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Four. Uh, when did you begin? February 27th. Okay. Favorite section so far in the 344 miles that you've done? I would say the Smokies. The Smokies. I really like the Smokies. And when did you begin the trail? March the 4th. What has been your favorite section so far? Well, I can't say that I'm. Um, I have a favorite one. I think each one brings its own special quality to it. What has been your favorite hostel stay slash town that you've stayed in? They all have something kind of unique to them. I kind of really like the one we just stayed at. Nature's in hostel. hostel and cabins. Yeah, I really liked it. Our cabin was just right on the creek. Mm -hmm and it had a little screened in back porch. I thought that was really nice. Yeah, I really liked the one, I agree with Lori, the last one we were at was really nice. Mm -hmm. It was close to the highway, so it was a little noisy, but it was, uh, at the same time, it was very organized, well run, had lots of different types of food. It wasn't the typical hiker pizza, frozen <laughs> pizza. Any, any hiker hacks? Try to be as organized as possible. I tend to like do everything the same pretty much every single day. So when I set up my tent at night, everything goes in the same positions so that I know where it is. And when I pack everything up, everything goes in the same position. So just makes it that much easier. Is there anything you think that people that want to hike the Appalachian Trail should know before going out? Anybody could do it if they really wanted to. I've seen so many people out there that have had knee replacement, hip replacement, surgeries not long ago, you know, heart attacks, and they're all out doing it. Yeah. So, is there anything you think that people that want to hike the Appalachian Trail should know before going out? I was thinking today as I was walking was that um, I think that sometimes the Appalachian Trail can be romanticized in some way. If you watch a lot of different hikers and everything, I mean, I think that a lot of hikers show how difficult it is, but you don't really understand how difficult it is until you get out there. But I also think like people who haven't been on the trail and haven't done either like a section or then they may, you know, oh, the Appalachian Trail and how exciting it would be to hike it. And it's just, it's hard. It's a hard trail. Yeah. It's very, very hard. But the only way that, that you know if you're made to do it is to hike it. What was the most surprising thing that you didn't realize before you started through hiking? I knew it was going to be tough, but it's kind of tough every day in different ways, mm -hmm. which I, I knew it was going to be tough, but some of the toughness was, it was bigger than what I thought, I guess, like weather or, right. yeah. yeah. What have you learned about yourself being out here? That I can do anything. Anything? I can do anything. Yeah. If I wanted to, I could do it. Do you have any advice for older aspiring through hikers? just do it just try it yeah yeah i mean if don't let other people tell you you can't mm -hmm. 
or you're too old or you've had a surgery and you can't. There's a lot of times that people put their personal like fears and limitations on those they're talking to and I think that's very prevalent online. What have you learned about yourself being out here? I learned that age is a number. I, I agree with Just Try is that it is, if it's something that you really want to do and you can physically do it without harming yourself, you should at least give it a try, come out. And, you know, it, even if you have to borrow gear, borrow gear from somebody just to try for a week or, you know, come out for a week. I don't know how to describe it, but like people will be like, how old are you? And I'll be like, I'm 60. Oh, well, you're such an inspiration. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, thank you. That's very nice. But I don't. Like, I may physically, like, the number on um, my birth certificate might be like, okay, she's 60 years old, but I don't feel like I'm 60. I feel like, if I'm being realistic, then, like, 45, 50, 55 age group in there. Yeah. I'm not feeling like I'm in my 20s, for sure. But age is just a number, and it's what you what you make of it. Do you have any advice for older aspiring through hikers? I did a video recently on, um, you know, training for a through hike. And my advice is if you were going to work out or start some sort of routine to at least start it early enough, start it early enough to give yourself time for your body to adjust to to that exercise routine and to hopefully you're you know building up and building up your exercise routine to a point where you know you feel stronger starting the trail yeah I mean I worked out before I even started but nothing like compares to hiking this yeah. every day. We're, I think I looked at my pedometer one day and I think we're taking 23,000 steps a day. And sometimes we're walking up 197 flights a day. Like if you really want to be prepared, you know, come out when it's cold it's like 45 degrees or 40 degrees during the day and you're wearing every last layer or it's or if it's raining and you don't want to get out of your sleeping bag or your tent you don't you don't want to be wet if you don't want to be wet this is not the place to be <laughs> at home you can have like a consistent existence because you can adjust your environment to that existence. So if it's raining, you either go to the grocery store with an umbrella or you don't go to the grocery store because you don't want to get rained on going into the store. And then, you know, you pull into your garage with the automatic garage door opener. And so you're not getting wet one bit. Out here, you can't adjust your environment at all. Your environment is adjusting you. Mm -hmm.